Okay, so the brand Lynn. The hook I'm using is a short shank black nickel fulling mill in size 6. The thread I'm using is some UTC fluorescent orange 70. And all I'm going to do is start by building a little head at the front. And then work the thread down. Work it back up. And then take two strands of some Brandling Flexi Floss. Now there's loads of brands out there you can use. This particular one is Flybox's Brandling. But Bill McKillroy also does a good uh, version of Brandling. So there's plenty of places you can go to get a decent Brandling colour. Okay, so in terms of length, what we're looking at is two and a half times the size of the hook. That seems to give you the right length to have enough kick in the fly but not so much that it allows the flexi floss to drape over. Okay, so I call that one and a quarter. One and a quarter, so that's two and a half. So I'll tie it in. And what you're looking for there is even legs that split down the center. So as you can see there, they're sitting long enough that they split. They're long enough that they'll kick, but they're not too long that they'll just drape over like here. And that's ideally what you want with your worms for the front and the back. So then bring the rest of it down. And then rest that. What we're then going to do is we're going to take one strand and use that as the rib. Same again. So we'll bring that in there. Now the brand Lynn has been around for years to a select few, um, but if you go into any bank international competition anglers box, anybody who does the le leagues and competitions, you'll find some version of this in their box. And it's probably up there with a the kind of top three fly for the still waters year round. And the way I'd fish this, there's two re real ways basically. Either on some sort of sinking line, like a slow glass or a fast glass, and pulling it or roly polying it. Or the alternative is a tip line or a floater, a long leader, like an 18 foot fluorocarbon leader, and then just fish it dead slow, almost like you're fishing nymphs. So that's it for now. Quick tie off. The next step is to take some loon hardhead and we're going to use that as the body now. So I'll just put a drop on and then take a needle and work your way around. So that's one coat. So the way I do it is one coat, let it dry, two coats, let it dry, and then give it one coat of varnish just to harden the whole body up. So we'll put this one aside for now, and we'll grab one that we've already done. So all we need to do is come back in with the thread. Take the rib, and then we're gonna wrap it around. Make sure you're happy. When you are, all you need to do is tie it off, cut away the excess. And then just make a head. So I'll finish that with a bit of wax. One double, two double, 
and then just a touch of varnish. And so the paint here, Loon just bounces off on this fly for some reason. It's just so bright. I'm not sure whether the camera can pick that up. But as you can see with the UV gun on it, it is just so bright there. It's just a small, slight difference maker. Thanks so much for watching. Now hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.